So there's been a lot of press attention about smart meters lately and how unreliable they are. And it's true. I'm with Octopus Energy and I've not had a proper bill since last June, July of last year. So we're talking seven, eight months ago since I've paid them anything. So I dread to think through the winter what I've used. But I've made allowances and I've got some savings specifically to pay my electricity bill. It's not Octopus's fault, it's the design of these smart meters and the various people that are involved to enable connectivity. And here on Orkney, it's been fairly problematic. Now this did work fine for about 18 months, occasionally dropping signal and then Octopus would gather the energy when we had a proper signal. But for the same, for the last seven or eight months, it's barely worked at all. So they've not been able to gather the information. Now, to be honest, Octopus have been fantastic. I've been dealing with, in particular, a guy called Ryan. So thanks, Ryan. And if um, the head of Octopus, Greg, is watching this, big thumbs up for Ryan. Communication, as with other members of the staff at Octopus, has been brilliant. They are humans talking to another human, and that's why I love this company so, so much. Even if I had to pay more for my electricity, I would stick with Octopus, just because you can deal with somebody. And they seem to, and appear to me, to take your problems really seriously. So their customer service, I have to say, is absolutely exceptional. And it's very conversational. So my communication with Ryan, um, Apologies. Hi, Jonathan. Apologies for the delayed response. I've been away on annual leave. Hope you're doing well. You get the idea of the tone. But basically, um, he's telling me about the fact I want to stay on the go tariff because I had not a general notification that that tariff was ending, but I'm staying on it. And I wanted my EV charge card, my Electro Universe charge card. Um, I wanted a new one because my old one didn't work when I was in Spain. That's come through as well. All seamless. And then a few days later, I got this email basically saying, Hi Jonathan, your new home mini is on its way. So this is me unboxing this for the first time. Um, let's see how easy it is. Hopefully this that connects to my Wi-Fi system will be able to communicate the readings over the internet rather than some 3G, 2G signal in the airwaves over the internet back to Octopus and also be able to communicate with my Octopus app to see by, I think it's every 10, 15 seconds, how much energy I'm using. So let's unbox it, let's set it up, let's see how easy it is for somebody to do it. So here we go, it's open and we're greeted with a quick start guide. Uh, plug in your home mini somewhere close to your smart meter, yes, but within Wi-Fi range, well my router's just up there. Uh, when the light blinks you're ready to roll. Point your camera, phone's camera at this weird box thing and tap the link that pops up like that. Uh, and I'm guessing that taps into my Octopus app. So let's get it out. So we've got here a plug and a wire, oh and there's the, there's the little PD Octopus Mini. Right, and a cable and a sort of mobile phone thingamajig. So oops. there's probably other YouTubers that have done this in a far more professional way but hey oh, it is me. Uh, I guess you plug that in there, there we go. So let's plug it in. So we go. So let's uh, plug it in. Get the USB at the bottom. End up there. Oh, got a flashing light. Right then. Right then. Next thing I've got to do is scan this QR code with my phone. Straight away, you mean? Very good. So, whether you can see that, there we go. Then, so let's get you set up. Plug in your Octopus Home Mini within five meters. Done that. Once the light on your home hub starts flashing blue, tap. Let's get started. I'm flashing blue. 
terms and conditions. We all do that, don't we? Just accept. <laughs> Allow location. Yeah. Uh, location. We're using the app. Enable Bluetooth. Uh, please enable Bluetooth in your settings, okay? So there's my cars. I've had in the past. Next door's computer, Motelli. Ah, there we go. Pairing. Let's just do good done. Right, enable Bluetooth permission, allow. Searching for it. I'm flashing blue. Oh, there we go. Connect. Right, put in my Wi Fi password. So, connect to Wi Fi. May take a few minutes. Our Octobots are 16% done. Love that, Octobots. <laughs> See what I like about Octopus? They've got a sense of humour. And, you know, electricity is pretty boring as a product, isn't it? But, oh, well, there we are. It's set up ready. Our Octobots are busy crunching your numbers. You should see your usage data in the app within an hour or so. Take me home. So let's go usage. Nothing here yet. It could take an hour for your data to come through. If you just set up your mini, keep it plugged in. Nice. So I've got live. Last 30 minutes, last 5 minutes. Nothing there yet. So, let's give this a few minutes and come back to it. So we're now in June 2024, three months after I recorded the intro. I've had time to get used to the Octopus Mini and how it relays live data to my phone via the Octopus app. So it's really, really good. Um, it's great to see usage over the last five minutes and also usage over the last 30 minutes. So you can really geek out to see how much you're actually pulling off the grid. And as we speak, I'm pulling two watts, which is not an awful lot. Um, basically, I mistakenly thought that the Octopus Mini that could talk to the app via the internet could help convey the meter readings due to the lack of signal here in Orkney. I was 100% incorrect i was wrong so i've done some research found out quite a bit about the whole smart meter fiasco and why my keeps dropping out so basically i found a really informative website which we'll go to now and explain things a lot clearer than i can so i found this website called smartme.co.uk and basically, it's an independent little website that explains smart meters. Uh, as it says here, look, it's a website run by a small group of engineers with a wide and detailed experience of smart meters. And basically, they run the website with adverts and they're making the terrific amount of about 60p a day. <laughs> so they have got a coffee page to buy them a coffee. So I should do that after I've done this. Basically, this website is brilliant because it explains in understandable language how the whole smart meter works. Uh, basically, you've got this loads of acronyms. So SMETS 1 and SMETS 2. Smart Meter Equipment Technical Specifications. Uh, so SMETS 1 was run out in 2018, uh, was run out initially and then the newer versions were run out in 2018, known as SMETS 2. Anyway, it's not straightforward as you'd expect these things to be or not. So the Wide Area Network, or WAN for short, they love their acronyms, don't they? It's run by a company called DCC, or the Data Communications Company. Uh, which the government has set up especially for the role of supporting SMETS 2 meters. This graph here just basically says how it works. In their wisdom, they've split it between two providers of the communications, the CSP, the Communications Service Provider. So you've got 
most of England and Wales with Telefonica and then less populated areas by, by a company called Arcuiva, which is, they've got their own website and they explain what they do as well. So that is basically the setup. So the country is split in half. Uh, one uses a cellular radio communication, so 2 and 3G, supported by Virgin Media O2. Um, lots of information on the internet. You probably know that 2 and 3G are about to be closed down by 2033. So the government and the UK mobile network operators have agreed to phase out 2G and 3G mobile networks. And that's happening already. I think with 2G, a lot of Nissan Leaf with their the app to communicate with the Gen 1 Leaf um, has basically ended and stopped because of this 2G being switched off. It's very complicated. Um, basically, I'll run through this website. There's also smart meters for your gas supply as well. Uh, but we want to look at the electricity supply. Now, this website's really good if you really want to crunch down into the detail and what all the acronyms mean. But towards the bottom of this page, there is some excellent questions. Um, whether a SMETS 2 meter will work with a different supplier, etc., etc. So have a browse through that. It could probably explain things, well, it will explain things a lot clearer than myself. Uh, there was one point down here, and it's here. My supplier says my signal is too weak. So there's a bit of blurb there. Basically, uh, there's lots of options um, they're saying. They can send someone on site to check the signal. But the guy from Optimus did say, make sure there's no heavy furniture parked near the smart meter or metal objects. Well, I'm in a highly insulated property with foil backed insulation and I'll park my vehicles outside the front of the house with the smart meter being just through the side. So maybe that's affecting the signal. But suffice to say, the whole system is absolutely chaotic. Um, it's not Octopus's fault. It's this incentive by the government to fit smart meters with various different players involved. We could use the internet, we could use Wi-Fi, that would solve all the problems. But then if I don't pay my Wi-Fi internet bill, then obviously they've got no way of communicating with the smart meter. They could fit SIM cards to all the smart meters, but that would involve a huge amount of work retrofitting upgraded SIM cards so they could wirelessly communicate. But what I have found is, is basically up here in Scotland, they have what's called like a mesh network. So if there's enough smart meters in one street, then what they can do is talk to each other in a in a in a network in a in a web and then provide enough signals to piggyback off each other to then talk to the data collection agency which then can then talk to your energy provider it's very complicated it's very mixed up but it's not the fault of the energy providers it's not the fault of companies like octopus it's down to the system that's been set up in my opinion, very haphazardly and with not a lot of joined up thinking. But anyway, check out this website, smartme.co.uk. There's the blurb and um, have a browse. So thanks for watching. If you'd like to use my referral link, if you want to join Octopus Energy, um, you get £50 and I get £50 credit to our electricity bill. Great people to deal with. Um, lots of people have used my referral link and are happy just as I am with the company. So if you've been watching, thank you. And whatever you're doing today, have a happy Octopus Energy Day.